Brockport is making a change after receiving criticism over an upcoming campus event. That event includes a talk from Anthony Bottom, also known as Jaleel Muntakim, who murdered two New York City police officers decades ago. Christian Garzon has been following this story for us, and he joins us now with that update we received within the last two hours. Christian. Well, SUNY Brockport said in a statement they are pulling the funding for this, but the event is still on for April 6th. Just to recap, Bottom was convicted in 1971 of killing two New York City police officers. SUNY Brockport invited him to speak in a talk, calling him a political prisoner. Today, Sheriff Todd Baxter and lawmakers are demanding Brockport pull this event altogether. Sheriff Baxter said there can be no earthly redemption for what Bottom did, calling his release from jail an abomination. And for Brockport to promote Bottom's claim he is a victim is offensive. State GOP Chairman Nick Langworthy said Bottom is a cold-blooded domestic terrorist, while GOP County legislators said today SUNY Brockport, a taxpayer-supported facility, plans to provide Bottom a platform to discuss his claimed 50 years as a political prisoner as he continues his despicable attempts to paint himself as a victim. A widow of one of the officers said this literature for the event is full of omissions and reminded the public Bottom emptied 22 bullets into her husband's body. Tony Brockport in a statement last night said this talk is meant to gain a new perspective. Again, the funding has been taken away, but Bottom is still scheduled to speak on April 6th. Adam, Teresa, back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. News 8 did reach out to the governor's office to see if there's any involvement from that office, and we have yet to hear back. If we receive any more updates on this story, we'll, of course, put that over on rochesterfirst.com and over the air here on News 8.